So uh, I recorded, well, I didn't record it. They recorded it. Uh, I, at Steamboat Music Fest up at Steamboat Springs, Colorado, um, they did a tribute to Cody Canada. And it was Ragweed and Beyond and all of his songs. And I had a really cool story about Cody. And, and I don't think they put the audio of us talking before each song. I think they just recorded the song. But uh, I'd like to tell that story. So when I was a sophomore in college, I was 19 years old. And I had saved my lunch money. My dad gave me $20 a week for food. Uh, and so I, I would put the money aside and save it for concert tickets. <laughs> I used my free meal card at the school. We had a Taco Bell and a Chick-fil-A. So I would go get my free school food, and then I would save my cash for concert tickets. Because I lived in a town, Stephenville, Texas, where I still live. And it was a really cool music town. So there was music from... Pat Green and Robert O'Keefe and, and cross this new band, Cross Canadian Ragweed, and they were my favorite band. Them and the Great Divide, those were my favorite two bands. And so I saved, it was a $45 ticket, and I took my, my two weeks worth of money, and I went to this bar, the Thirsty Armadillo, that used to let me play on Tuesday nights. I got to open for whoever was playing. His name was Andy Pate. It was the local house band, and I would open for him. And this other guy named Joey Green would play during the breaks. And every week we'd switch. So one of us would get to open, and then one of us got to play on the break. And then I opened for a long-haired Randy Rogers when he was probably 19 or 20 years old there. So we were all just babies together, you know? So I was at this bar sitting in, in, on a table, and there were only like 40 or 50 people there. And Shannon, Cody's wife, comes up and taps me on the shoulder, and she goes, Hey, the owner of the bar says you're a singer. And I said, Yes, ma'am. And, and she's scary. She's my friend, but I've been scared of her from day one, you know. It's probably why our friendship works. So I was like, yes, ma'am. And she goes, well, Cody's lost his voice. So the, the band, Ragweed, will play. Grady will get up, and you can play Cody's guitar. Can you sing the rest of the show? So I got to get up and sing cross Canadian Ragweed songs with cross Canadian Ragweed, which was pretty cool. So I told Cody that. I said, well, I don't have to sing my songs. I can sing your songs. And he goes, well, just you do what you do. And I said, but I probably don't do it like you because I play by ear. He says, I don't care. Play what you play and we'll follow you. And so I got to sing Alabama. So when it came time to do this uh, tribute to them, I begged. I knew that would be a song that everybody wanted. But I privately asked if I could have that song because it meant so much to me. And it was the opening into the music scene for me was because of the, the Canada's. And uh, they've been my friends ever since. For the longest friends I've ever had in this business. So I owe a lot to them. Uh, just for sticking by me, too. Um, so here's my version of Cody's song, Alabama. She picked up the telephone All she heard was dial tone She really thought she heard it ring this time She said, what am I 